yeah. I mean, you know, I, I try to explain and define conservatism every chance I get, especially on my own podcast as well. And so, you know, I appreciate the opportunity. I mean, conservatism to me is the founding ideology of this, of this country. Okay. You know, bef- when George Washington was president of the United States, the first president, we did not have factions. We didn't have political factions. There were not parties as were developed later on. Everyone's allegiance was to this country. And even George Washington would say, he said in his farewell address, uh, you know, when he took, took the initiative to step down and set the precedent for, for presidents only serving two terms, he said, look, you know, yeah, we may have slight differences, you know, between the, and he was talking about regionally at the time, North, East, South, West, Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, what unites us is so much stronger. We all have to be patriotic about this country. And look, we're all united by a common manners, common culture, common religion at the time. And these things he could not emphasize enough about the well-being and health of the nation going forward. We can't allow ourselves to be divided based on, uh, uh, you know, at that time, it was obviously based on where you lived. And and so, you know, conservatism is, is the belief in unalienable rights. It's the belief in a constitutional system, because remember, we are the greatest nation in the history of the world, and we are a revolutionary idea. I mean, prior to 1776, everyone who ever walked on this earth lived under some sort of king, some emperor, some type of ruling elite. 